Tonight, drugs are found in the system of the man who caused a deadly crash in northern Kentucky in September. And tonight, a close friend of the victims is speaking out. Not on your side, Ashley Zilka joins us live with that exclusive interview. Ashley? Well, Julie Kenneth Hartsock was driving down this road erratically when he crashed into a car and killed a family. Their loved ones tonight say they are disappointed to find out that heroin is to blame. Police say this man, Kenneth Hartsock, was high on heroin, fentanyl, and THC when he crashed into a car on Highland Pike, killing an entire family and himself. I can't imagine the suffering their family's going through, especially now knowing that uh, it was really a senseless act. Sarah Willis and her husband, John, were driving her sister, Gloria Roden, when they were hit head on. People who knew them say the new information is frustrating. Very sad and disappointed. Uh, she was a wonderful lady, and so was her her sister and her husband. It's just senseless, and you wonder why. Kenton County Commonwealth Attorney Rob Sanders says it made no difference that the at-fault driver was dead and there's no one to prosecute. I think it's important for the public to know the truth about what happened. It's important that everyone recognize the dangers of drug driving these days, especially when it comes to heroin. Ken Ellis says Roden and her family were headed back home after getting a bite to eat when the crash happened. Roden just had knee surgery. I told people that she's like Aunt B from Mayberry. She was always there. In fact, I still think I'm going to come home. She's going to come out her door, say hi, and I say hi back. Although the toxicology results won't bring back their loved ones, Ellis says this is a wake up call for all those who are affected by the heroin epidemic. We can find almost anybody. We can go to the moon. We should be able to find, at least slow down the traffic of, of this drug. And this is a very tragic but perfect example of how heroin can be deadly to everyone, not just the addicts. Sanders says if anyone is caught driving after using heroin, they will face felony charges, even if the drugs are not in the car. Reporting live tonight, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.